I shouldn't force my advances on you. However, how am I supposed to know they're unwelcome? I mean, should I just ask every woman I see? Let's just say every attractive woman or every woman I'm attracted to. Should I just walk up to every woman I see and say, do you welcome romantic advances from people in general, or men, or me in particular, or not? Do you just, like, not welcome them from anybody, or just from certain people like guys like me that you think are old, creepy guys? And how am I supposed to know this if I don't ask you? So, it's kind of a, kind of a tricky situation. Hmm. I think it's also one of those situations that uh, are contrived. I don't think that uh, welcome or unwelcome is really the question here. <clears throat> I think the question here is annoying or bothersome, or uh, shall we say, uh, let's see, what would be a good word to use for this? Uh, I'm thinking here of <clears throat> uh, a, a man coming up to a woman and uh, groping her, and that's part of the article there. He's Donald Trump apparently has been accused of groping somebody. Well, gee, that's like murder, isn't it? Um, Trying to think how many women I've groped in my life. Uh, I probably have groped a few. And I doubt very seriously if it was just some random stranger I ran into in the grocery store. Uh, because I don't do that. Um, I'm not that uh, arrogant. I wouldn't, you know, just, oh, uh, there's a woman. In the grocery store on aisle six, you know, uh, on the bread bread aisle, uh, I'll just go up and grope, grope, grope the woman, because she's really hot. I'll just go up and grope her titties and 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 maybe grope her ass or stick my finger in. Never mind, we won't go that far. But maybe I would do. No, why would I do that? What kind of person would do that? <clears throat> uh, I'm saying not necessarily creepy guy, but because I'm creepy and I wouldn't do that. Well, I mean, people say I'm creepy, not, not creepy. They think I'm creepy because they're idiots, but that's another story. So, unwelcome. Uh, I think unwelcome is a, an iffy part of that because we don't know that it's unwelcome unless you say, don't do that, it's not welcome. Uh, so welcome and unwelcome is part of that phrase that's really iffy because how would I know and if I do know then um, then it's not unknown is it so anyway I think unwelcome is probably not a good word to use in this phrase it implies more than it's worth welcome or unwelcome hmm okay I won't get into that too much because it's a rather insignificant part of it, except that it does imply that you didn't want me to make romantic advances towards you. Okay. Well, I don't know you don't want me to do that because, you know, you might be looking at me real sexy-like and saying with your eyes, yeah, grope me. Uh, or, or at least ask me out for a date or tell me I'm pretty or something nice give me a compliment because I'm looking at you and I think you're a really hot guy and you know I want you to notice me because I'm a hot girl so say something to me say something romantic like hi babe you wanna go out and have sex with me hmm uh, that would, of course, get me slapped or something. Perhaps even the cops could be called and I could be arrested for some uh, fabricated crime, such as just talking to you or making a suggestion verbally that's 
not a crime, by the way, but people do think things are crimes when they're not. That's another program. We'll get to that. In the meantime, back to the phrase. Let's just say unwelcome means you don't want me to do that or say that or make that. Uh, you don't want me to flirt with you. You don't want me to make compliments about your beautiful body or your, your terror. You know, people are actually believe that that's a crime to tell someone they're beautiful. Or uh, I remember a time at the gas station. Uh, I was filling up my tank with gas. There was a beautiful lady there. She had on a short or a very short skirt. And uh, I said to her, I admired her legs, and I said to her as she was, she was going into the to the place to pay her bill for her tax for her gasoline, and I said because uh, she was like coming out as I was going in, as I think, as I recall. And I said, uh, pardon me, I hope you don't mind, but uh, 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 you've got beautiful legs. And she smiled and said, thank you. And I, 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 there was no harm done. Was that an unwelcome advance? Certainly wasn't romantic. I was just observing beauty. And she had beautiful legs, in my opinion. From my perspective, they were gorgeous legs all the way up and uh, there was no ill intention there there was no perversion involved there was no malice there was no intention to offend how can you offend someone by paying them a compliment I wonder how can that even be possible <clears throat> so I felt better about myself because I said a nice thing to somebody now, you think it's not nice to tell somebody that they're beautiful? If you think that way, you're really dumb. All right. Unwelcome romantic advances. Now, I suppose you can have romantic advances, and then I suppose you could have rom advances that are not romantic. I suppose you could say that there were advances that are actually just sexual just straight out sexual advances like you're beautiful you got nice legs oh I didn't say this to the woman in the gas station but I could have because I might have been thinking it maybe in this case as best I can recall at the time uh, I wasn't thinking yeah I'd like to fuck that little girl oh yeah well she wasn't a little girl she was a grown up lady and I assumed she was a lady I can assume she's a lady. Why wouldn't I? I have no evidence that she's not. Why would I make assumptions like that? I don't know. Pretty much the same way everybody makes assumptions these days about mm -hmm, me. You're creepy. When in fact I'm not. That's just their opinion. And it's a stupid opinion. Because there's no evidence to support that. Why would you call me creepy? Hmm. That, too, is another program. Okay. Uh, unwelcome romantic advances. Advances. Meaning I have forwarded myself to that person. Uh, been rather forward or bold. Uh, advances. Meaning what I just said. Kind of moving forward towards that woman. Paying attention to her. Coming on to her, hitting on her, coming within proximity of her space, it's saying something to the effect of, let's think of something romantic. Hi, sweetheart, you're beautiful. Can I take you to dinner? And after dinner, can I take you to a movie? And after the movie, can I take you back to my place and fuck your eyes out? Whoa. Ha ha ha. I bet you didn't think that was coming, did you? Didn't expect that. Well, you should have. At any rate, unwelcome romantic adventure. I'm pretty sure the word romantic has something to do with heart and affection and emotions. I'm pretty sure that unwelcome ad romantic advances <clears throat> are not really a big deal, are not a crime. You know? You might be working in the same place I'm working, and uh, of course we got then got the sexual harassment crap, socialist bullshit. But 
as if that's not bad enough. But we have unwelcome romantic advances. Well, if I'm not romantically inclined towards you and I see you and I'm like, hey, how you doing? Um, excuse me. But how do I know they're unwelcome? And, uh, well, we've been through that already. I'm re being redundant here. All right, so I'm thinking romantic has to do with affairs of the heart, that it has to do with love and affection and, and, um, and kindness and gentleness and all the stuff that emotions go with, the emotions that go with uh, in a romantic situation or a romantic relationship, romantic circumstance. And if I'm real, feeling romantic towards you, the beautiful woman that you are, and uh, you're not interested in my romantic, affectionate, loving, caring, wanting you kind of in my heart type of thing, then it's not romantic. For example, if I just see you on the street and say, hey, nice legs, and the girl that I said it to, girl, young lady, well, she was maybe a woman at that point, uh, I'm guessing college age, so young woman. It's good enough. Uh, and I say, and I, that's nothing romantic. There's no romantic in that. I didn't say, hey, nice legs. Can I play with your titties or something like that? It's just ridiculous. Romantic would be, nice legs. Will you marry me? Uh, can we go off to a desert island, a deserted island together and, and make whoopee and live happily ever after, or some sort of thing as that, but <clears throat> just making a compliment to someone in, in the physical uh, attributes, uh, beautiful legs, uh, beautiful face, nice ass, pretty tits, uh, people are so sensitive, it's ridiculous, trust me, it's ridiculous. All right, so uh, romantic is not exactly what they're talking about. I don't think they're talking about unwelcome romantic advances at all. Uh, an unwelcome romantic uh, advance would be something to the effect of, let's say, like I said about the woman, I see a beautiful woman and I think, gee, it'd be nice to be her friend. It'd be nice to get close to her and sit and cuddle and, and fondle and kiss and we could just have sex and fuck our eyes out and she would love it and I'd love it and all that kind of stuff. And then we get married and have kids and settle down and get old and die. You know, very romantic. Uh, on the other hand, just looking at someone and complimenting them on some physical feature like nice legs or nice breasts. And believe me, I like the word breasts. I like to say a word breasts and I respect women and their breasts. But I just like to use the word titties sometimes because it just gets to the point. It's just, oh, let's just say I have a romantic affection towards women's body parts believe it or not moving on another story another time so the words unwelcome romantic advances I don't know that that applies in this case with Donald Trump was he actually was he actually offering or giving unwelcome romantic advances or was he just hitting on the bitch? Oops! Shouldn't have said the word bitch. Uh, I apologize. Um, it just slipped out because I'm crude. <clears throat> no. It's just a word. Words are words. Words mean what they mean. So, unwelcome, unwelcome romantic advances. I don't know if that applies to Donald Trump in that case. Um, I think the implication is he was hitting on somebody and they didn't want to be hit on. That he was groping them. Uh, you know, this grope, grope. Well, I'm sorry, but groping goes a little bit beyond advances. Groping is actually getting there. You've actually put hands on. A little bit more than just flirting. <clears throat> which is okay as well. Whether you like it or not, it's okay to flirt with people. The only problem I have with human beings interacting with other human beings 
is if somebody 